Hey guys, we've got a 2014 Chrysler 300 S in for an install today. Um, so he's going for the Android 13 inch head unit upgrade. So as per usual, this one does come with your wireless Apple CarPlay and wireless Android Auto built into it. So through that you can access your uh, maps, phone calls, music, streaming services, whatever you like to do through CarPlay, you can do. So I'll just get out of this one, I'll go back to the main page of the unit. So from the main page you can see it's got a, the two tacos on the screen, so that goes automatically with your revs. It's very smooth as well because it's directly through the uh, ECU and OBD of the car. So we'll just go over to navigation here. So with navigation, you can set that to whatever preference you'd like. If that's uh, Google Maps, uh, Apple Maps or Waze or whichever one you want to choose. Got your main AM, FM radio down here. So you've got the scroll bar down the bottom. Tap and hold the preset. Got the volume control bottom left, uh, bottom right. Likewise with your steering wheel controls as well. So we'll just get out of this one for now. We'll go along to music. So with music, you've got the access to your USBs as well. So we've just got the USBs down the bottom here. So if you put a hard drive or a USB stick to this one, you'll be able to listen to music directly through them as well. Uh, you've got your application page So inside here, that's where you can access all your Bluetooth functions um, Calculator, Apple CarPlay Browsers, steering wheel controls If you want to manually set them up, you can uh, You've got the equalizer So from here, you've got your main presets Standard, rock, soft We'll go chuck this one on the rock You've got your main field for the locations of your speakers round sound so you can manually set the front left front right rear left rear right speakers bass filters so that's, that's it for the equalizer we'll get out of this one back to the application page so as per usual it's an android system so it's uh, got the app, uh, google play store so once you connect up to Wi-Fi on this one, you'll be able to download whatever application you like. So once you sign into your account, then you can do all that sort of fun stuff as well. Car settings. So with car settings, depending on your exact model of your car, you have a bunch of factory features. Uh, so you'll be able to control most of them through here. So if you've got the SRTs, uh, the Jeep, the Trackhawks, whichever one, you'll be able to control all those factory functions. Lots of handy stuff you can check the specs of your car with as you're driving. Uh, G Force dyno and engine to show you the power of the car. All your speeds, we'll see if that changes when I put the car into reverse or drive. That's it. Uh, car's got a factory reverse camera as well, so that actually works with this system. So that's the car in reverse now, and factory camera still working. different driving modes again if you've got the fancier models with all those different mode settings you'll be able to control them through here if you want lots of crazy stuff
you got the main unit settings so you got your Wi-Fi settings or your display sound GPS storage If you're not a fan of that beep, you can turn it off as well. So that's just in sound, keypad tone. So we'll leave it on for now. Your main factory settings, 3368 is the password. Just getting out of this one here now with your climate control all you want to do is press this one and it will bring up your display page so you've got fan speed on the bottom all your different modes in the middle section here temperature left and right this car is dual zone controlled so both sides do work then you got your heated seat function from here as well AC off, AC on. And if you had the rear uh, air conditioning as well in your car, you can control all that through here. Which this car doesn't have it, so it's not activated, but if you do have that, then that'll work nicely for you. Uh, what else is there? So going into, you swipe down from the top of the screen. Obviously you've got your brightness setting. You can manually set your brightness if you want. Another cool thing is you can actually change the color palette of your main swipe down menu. So you can change this to blue if you want. Applying. Now it's all blue. And again, if you want to restart the unit on the fly, you just go that one. Click sure. Then that will reboot. And then once again, you've got these physical buttons on the unit itself. So the hazards. Hazards work nicely. Traction control. Uh, your sport mode. So if you've got different modes, you can obviously change that as well. Then you've got your physical air conditioning button. AC on, AC off. recirculations um, I think that's pretty much it guys so any questions feel free to ask um, just send us a message or call us on 1300 696 488